Hello everyone, if you're subscribed, welcome back and thank you again for your support. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Christian Hardscaper where we do a lot of our hardscape installations like this one you're watching now. Um, this video is the backfill portion of this project. If you haven't seen the excavation, make sure you check that out. But uh, I guess to go through real quick where we're at is we're at the point where our subsoil is at the grade that we need it to be and we are correcting the um, the subsoil. Uh, this The subsoil is actually pretty good gravel and sand which doesn't necessarily need to be corrected in this way. Um, this is a technique you would usually use for like a clay kind of soil but we use it in every application because it does nothing but help. And that is <clears throat> spread the three quarter inch crushed stone that we're using in a nice thin layer and compact it into the subsoil. And after we compact into the subsoil as you just seen it's time to lay out our soil separation fabric, which Benny's doing now. So we're going to um, start at the uh, furthest point, pretty much, of our um, of our backfilling. Now we're going to uh, lay it out the other, the opposite direction here. And um, you know, a lot of guys I see on here, or even just around me in my area, don't like to use this this fabric. or don't use it, and uh, you know, it's just extremely cheap compared to this job, this kind of job you're doing, guys and it will do nothing but help. It um, really helps stabilize the base and keeps the uh, three-quarter inch stone away from the other soil types. So um, We do it on every single install, whether it be a patio, walkway, set of stairs, or a wall. Um, no matter what, we always use this, uh, this fabric here. It's a geotextile fabric. Um, this one is made by, uh, I think, Gator. It's called Gator Fabric. And um, if we can't find this, we find something comparable. But now, the great thing about this system that we use, the three-quarter inch cr uh, clean crushed stone, is we just backfill to the height that we need. There's no need to compact in two to three inch lifts. This uh, stone comes 98% compacted, and um, it is perfectly fine to put anywhere from six to eight inches of, of stone without any compaction. That's, that's what this um, system is designed for. Uh, I know a lot of contractors are very nervous about this system, and aren't interested to switching over just yet but if you ask me in my opinion it is the um, the best thing we've done in the past three years was to change to this with the amount of time it saves and not just time guys it's honestly a better system there's um, no water retention in this material which allows the water to flow freely through your base into the subsoil and as long as you got a nice subsoil it will permeate right down into the ground which is what we're looking for in any kind of um, patio or walkway install. There's a lot of uh, back and forth between contractors and the uh, professionals in, the, in this industry about open grade base and you know what no matter who wins an argument the people who are winning are the ones that are actually doing this uh, system. They're winning because they're saving a lot of time a lot of money and they're giving their customers a, a better project that's going to last longer. That's my opinion. These Kubota uh, quick releases aren't so quick, but you know, with how simple these machines are, they're very well built. It's been an awesome machine. I love using it, so I have no problem waiting a little while for the, uh, the disconnect to disconnect. Let's go get that bucket. Alright guys, we got another machine on site now. Brought the ditch switch back and got this uh, Kubota SVL 75-2. It's about a 9,900-pound uh, machine, and it's going to be exactly what we need for moving those pallets of pavers. I forgot to mention guys that we're building a nice outdoor bar feature as well so we already got the block work built and laid that table on there so you guys will have to just stay tuned and watch those further um, videos that are 
further along in the project, but uh, we finished the backfilling after we had that uh, footing poured and got the block work built, so that's why we skipped ahead to where we are now. Alright guys, that's going to uh, wrap up this portion of the project, the backfilling. I hope um, it was informative and uh, what I said made sense. If you are a contractor and you're on the edge about this uh, system, I hope it gave you a little more confidence to try it yourself because I promise once you try it, you'll never go back. But uh, The next portion of this project is going to be us uh, building the footing and block work for that table and setting the top on it. So make sure you check out the channel in this playlist.